Hello and welcome to Professor Eleanor Ostrom. Um, thank you very much for joining us well, and making this time available. Um, we uh, are uh, talking with you today in your capacity um, of um, keynote speaker at the upcoming Eco Summit 2012 in Columbus, Ohio. Um, we're very glad that you accepted the invitation. Well, I'm very happy about the meeting. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, one of the important themes at EcoSummit 2012 is restoring the world's ecosystem services. What, in your opinion, um, should be a first step or one of the first steps to make a start in the right direction to indeed um, restore the world's ecosystem services? Well, there are many indigenous communities around the world who have been told that they don't have uh, property rights to uh, local systems anymore and uh, they've been kicked out. And um, uh, there are a fair number of those systems that are deteriorating very rapidly because you kick out the people who uh, have uh, their livelihood and their existence in the area and you get strangers in who uh, are looking for how to get a quick return and uh, they take down the trees and do an immense amount of destruction. So one of them is to get a further recognition of uh, the uh, role of small-scale communities and indigenous rights in protecting uh, those systems. Clear. Thank you. Thank you. In addressing global sustainability needs in general, how do you think that the academic community can involve um, policymakers, industry, or society at large, so to speak? Or involve each other because we've had a terrible problem in academia of uh, silos. And uh, uh, as a person who has been trained multidisciplinary f uh, from my very beginning, um, but it turned out that um, I ended up with a PhD in political science and an appointment in political science. Uh, some of the sorts of research that I was doing was ridiculed by my colleagues as not being very important because I was studying indigenous communities around the world, uh, small-scale communities. And while the population accumulates to being giant, um, it's not like studying members of parliament or, or Congress. Uh, so I had scholars who studied Congress who ridiculed me. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, that was even within supposedly one discipline. Uh, we're, we're moving there slowly. Uh, we need more communication. Uh, I've been working on a social ecological systems framework that really is trying to get the biophysical uh, very much integrated uh, with the social and economic. Um, and uh, we're moving along. We've. Uh, we've had an article in PNAS Science and uh, now a number of people uh, adopting that framework uh, 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 who come from multiple disciplines. But that's, that's one of our things. Uh, and then uh, when we start training pre-law who become public officials frequently, because uh, law school frequently is the entryway and um, many law students have had uh, political science, sociology, economics, etc. cetera. Uh, we're training them in very narrow uh, routes and we need uh, to be uh, training people uh, that they, they can make a big difference mm -hmm. so that when they graduate they, and become public officials, they realize that there's a lot of responsibility on their shoulders. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You'll be happy to know then that um, I think one of the aims of the organizing committee and scientific committee of Eco Summit 2012 is to bring all these disciplines together. Yes. We're currently building uh, the program and it's, it's looking promising in that sense. Yeah. yeah. No, see, I've been doing a lot of forestry research, uh, but we've had uh, foresters uh, and biologists involved in the design so that I literally go in and we interview the people but we take a random sample of the forest plots, do DB, I always, DBHs, <laughs> you the treats, um, and um, uh, trying to train social scientists to do um, DBHs uh, takes a little while, but uh, we <laughs> insist on it. And I also insist that the biologists, ecologists who are on our teams sit in on some of our interviews with local communities so that uh, people, one, we produce research now, 
uh, almost, um, well, um, 10 countries around the world and multiple sites in them and repeating visits. But then we've got to get our financial agents to recognize the NSF and Ford and others that over time studies are particularly valuable because we were trying to return to some of the early sites. And um, uh, I had one foundation, that I won't mention which one, indicate, well, we funded you for a long time. You've been very successful. Uh, why do you need money now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, going back and getting a sense of which of these were successful and why is very important. Clear, thank you. Um, you have a very full agenda, obviously, and a lot of speaking <laughs> engagements. Um, may I ask you why you did accept the invitation to speak at Eco Summit? Well, I think this is a very important topic, and um, uh, uh, spending time here at this meeting is certainly an indication that it was not just a casual acceptance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you.